Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones where we are continuing as Empress Sainris of North Valyria. We are uh, an interesting situation, we have taken over from our father Maegor after our uh, brother and betrothed Baynar was uh, slain by the dragon firecatcher this mighty wicked beast uh, has now been tamed by Baylor of Yunkai but um, obviously he was slain in the <laughs> an attempt to catch it we are without a dragon ourselves we are widowed we cannot remarry and our heir is our sister uh, Jahira who thankfully is matrilineally marriage, uh, married but also has no children so this uh Bloodline is not yet secured. Magel's bloodline is a. Uh... Well, he'd hoped it was secure. And Valerian was certain it was secure. But how wrong they may have been. Before we get started today, I want to make a quick mention of Plutonium, my new Discord. It is a fantastic place. I mean, that fantastic place <laughs> where we are going to be hosting. CK3 multiplayer, we're going to be talking about anything and everything. This is a, a place for any supporters of my channel or anyone interested in CK2. And anyone who's interested in uh, CK3 or all the other games. <laughs> so, let's get into it. What are we dealing with? Well, we are only 31. There's a chance for us to lose Widow, there's a chance for a lot of stuff to happen, but it's unlikely. We're very lucky in that in our father's reign, uh, we finished in Valyria, as did the, the second castle. The castle of Mandios also finished in Valyria. Uh, let's upgrade the private farms. Let's have a look at this. There's a war going on. A war between Yunkai and Astapor. She's pushing for a claim on Yunkai. She should stand down. Why are you like this? Um, let's see. The husband as well? She's attacking her own husband in the war? Some else? The rightful... Claimants to Astapor. Well, she got it through her father, Valex, who got it through Valar, who got it through Rhaegar, who got it through the original Valar. So this is the original bloodline who's held it this whole time. I'm not sure if I want to remove this bloodline. I don't even think she has... Yeah, because Rogar died young. Um, does she even have a cousin? I guess Vespario is the closest to any of those. I will brand her as a traitor. Because this is a treason attack. The horror was under siege. Ugh, it's always, it's always one of these colonies over here. It's impossible to hold this because Valantis just keeps going to war over and over and over again. Yagos is under siege. Yep, yeah, because over and over and over again. I can't believe she's 59 now, but oh, Jaehaerys has been waiting a long time for this. And look how many kids Jaehaerys has had. He could be a, a claimant, or any of these kids would be, could be claimants of the throne, should we not ascend. So these are all definitely ones to be keeping an eye on. A betrothal from Orion. Uh, my sister and Prince Dana. He already has a wife, so I'm going to say no. Because I won't let her be a second wife. There's no reason for her to be one. You know, she's technically third in line at the moment. Or second in line, actually. So second in line to the throne. Oh, my stewardship's getting better. That's good. It 
Malus of Yunkai. And Vera get betrothed. I still say no. This is interesting. Why is she confident she's going to win this war? Because she has half as many men as him. Does she have a dragon? Yeah, she has Rune. But Rune is very young. And he does not have a dragon. So I guess maybe she's just relying on dragon riders to win battles. Okay, Winter's now hit Illyria. What about Little Valyria? Sorry, not Little Valyria. Vazugus! God, the entire armies of Atlantis are raised. Is this like a civil war? A slave raid on Mia. It's just... It's two slave raids at once? No, just one slave raid. Attacking our own vassal in Mia. The only reason Mia's independent is because um, they're also in an active war, I believe, against Cohoris. Yeah, against Cohor. His whole side of the world is so messy that I don't even look over there. <laughs> I just I just keep my focus over here. Although this war is going to get very messy, I think. It should be heavily in his favour already, though. Just to prove your good name has been a success during a visit to the uh, visit of the Lord Paramount of Lease, it will seem I've made sure I'm saying I'm a benevolent and peaceful ruler. Okay, he doesn't completely hate me. God damn it, of course. Jabo. This war, I think this our province has been sieged for a million years. Interesting. We 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 named Orion as um the Lord of Marine. Because, if we're being completely frank, he deserves the title. After what the last couple of Lords of Marines have tried. And his uh, son is currently the... Is it Oros? He's Lord of... No, no, it's uh, Tyria. Yeah. Still the Lord of Tyria with a dragon egg as well. Interesting. What egg is that? Oh yeah, it's Tegar's egg. We, we, we learned about this before. He wants Inca. I'll give him a favour. He's just, Orion was a was a family friend for a long time, so we can take a favor. The ones who ridicule Bagel, I mean Bagel, I think just Bagel. Let's be honest, Bagel for his weaknesses, becoming more and more scornful. And speak up for the kid, or give him learning, and maybe get shy or humble. And he got humble. News from Yaros. During the war in North Illyria, the dragon rides of Lord Edar Raquin, rider of Vasarion, and Lord Edar uh, Radin, rider of Vasarion, met in fierce combat, driving their dragons at each other. Uh, Vasarion prevailed, killing Vasarion. What? So it's saying he killed himself? Uh, I was realising, I only realised when I got to the end I was saying the same names twice. Okay, here's an actual one. Um, the Dragon Riders of Airy Cinder, Rider of uh, Gorphalon, and Lady Bela Cinder, the Rider of Firecatcher, met in fierce combat, driving their dragons at each other. Lady Bela and Firecatcher prevailed. Well, Gorphalon's only four and Firecatcher is a hundred, so. Although it did actually get wounded in the fight, interestingly. That's going to be a big win for Yunkai there. Yeah, I don't see how Astapor wins this, honestly. Especially with that battle lost. Hey lady, would you bestow a name upon me? Who are you? Oh my god, you're from Jaehaerys' line? Yeah, you're going to be the pest. Suitable name for a person who will not leave me alone. Why am I leading this army? Are these ones?
Oh. They say Lady Visenya Cinder now rides Malis into battle. Interesting. It is, it's always interesting looking back at Rhaegar now. It's been so long since Rhaegar. But just think of how much we achieved in his in his reign. Kingdom of Valyria. No. The Kingdom of Valyria is very clearly mine. I've been hauling my titles. You can kindly fuck off. I mean, I might even move the council down here. Or the capital rubber down here eventually. Who knows? Ooh, interesting. Long before a Endeavor to Reap again. Oh, this is about if we want the port. Yeah, we want a port in more or less. This is a pretty important port province if we can get it built. On advanced colony now. Uh, let's upgrade the castle town. It, it, it's it's just it's just constant. It's just that's what annoys me. It's just it's just too often. So much go. Mia is just an absolute mess. You can't even tell us part of my kingdom how long it's been. Independence deal of this war. Is that a king of the Stepstones? Is that a king title? It is. The Pirate King of the Stepstones, who's a vassal of Larian Targaryen. What is it's so weird? It's a title that could be worth going for, perhaps. Eventually. My cousin Valerian has had a daughter. We'll go with Dela. He's a hedonist. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Winter, a mild winter was all it was, and it's come to an end. Did my treasurer die? Oh dear. Leading troops, I should have thought about that. Yeah, let's get him off this army. So I can get him back on improved pot. Uh, oh no, we're not upgrading any holdings. Never mind. I do still want him to oversee realm. Because I want to see if we can get the dements improved. Because that is a really good bonus to get. Yeah, this war is very definitively over. And she's the one who attacked as well. She must have had some sort of confidence to attack there. 20,000. Dear God. <laughs> this is He's proposing the same marriage again. Ah, oh, fine. I really refuse it. And it is still Cinder, so, you know, it's it's not as if the name is going to die. It's the same dynasty. Uh, let's see the realm prosper. Stay at peace for a while. Try and have our reign be a peaceful one. I don't even know where they're going. These guys are just... Going all over the place, apparently. This is a group of, uh, uh, to the advice of a group of my bannermen. I hereby enact a series of law empowering my council to act and vote on... Oh my goodness. I assume that's because she lost the war so bad that they said, you're going to give us all of our rights or we are going to absolutely destroy you. What a foolish matter. Interesting, there's also a building I can make in Morley's. It's fun. I believe there's also, yeah, this down here. Uh, Aquas Dehen. 
It's the same. And then Tyria as a couple. But Tyria, I'm fine with being owned by a different branch of the family. Cedric Hill gains legitimized bastard. And why is a faceless man asking me for this? No, you're a faceless man. It doesn't really matter. Obtain the Lyrian steel. Plus Bertie. Is he earning more than me? Yeah, he's somehow still earning more than me. I should be able to force him to pay more taxes. <laughs> I, I really wish I could. It must, just, must be something in Bravos. Yeah, tax 65? Gives it, is there anything specific that gives it? Uh, let's see. So it's just trade zone bonus, uh, Bravos prospering, bank being looted, losing, collecting taxes. It's giving plus 42. How's collect taxes giving plus 42? Uh, city, small Bravosi village, Bravosi village, small Bravosi town, large Bravosi town, small Bravosi city, large Bravosi city. So it's just having all these cities as well is adding to the wealth of Bravos itself. Oh, damn. I don't know what Pentos is like. Not that great. Okay, the Valantis War is over. Oh, and the Mir War is over. It's a new Lord of Mir? Yeah, a new Lord of Mir. There we go, we can see ourselves united again. And the rock just getting bigger and bigger. This is... What, Winterfell? Is he in a civil war? The Starks have lost their king title and are now fighting a war to get it back. Do they still have... Yeah, they still have ice at least and the Stark armor. Well, that's probably not going to work. I don't think this is going to beat all of this if we're being frank. But I appreciate that they think they can. Very bold to try. I don't need him. He's not that good. So can anything be put on player? Actually, should I be collecting... Oh, apparently my whole council died. Collect taxes in Valyria, yeah? More religious unrest, of course, because there's always more religious unrest. Macy's rise dragon back. In Oros. Interesting. They all to one of my courtiers. Uh, I don't especially care then. Okay, we're up to 33 now. So we're earning a bit more than Bravos. So doing this was the right call. Jahira still being alive and, and ruling over this kingdom is so interesting. But why is, is her heir Valerian? That's what I find most interesting is that I'm not her heir to this title. Does it, does it have a different succession law? Very, very interesting. Yeah, he's my cousin through my uncle, Marys. Absolutely rip this guy. I mean, he he could have had it all if he didn't die in battle against the forces of Nachos Gotho. But to be fair, his father died at sea from bloody seasickness, so make of that what you will. So he's attacking King Larian the Lewd in a retribution against King Larian. So the Iron Throne and the Rock are at war, but it's not over... No, he's not at war. He's only at war with Old Town. I see. I was going to say, because I thought, would have thought if he went for war, it would be a war for King's Landing. How 
interesting. I have a claim for all of these stuff. I don't have a dragon conquest, do I? Because I think you have to be bordering them to dragon conquest? Or what's the parameter for a dragon conquest? Oh, I don't have a dragon. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> That's why I can't dragon conquest. I can attempt to hatch an egg, though. This is a very dangerous event, which is not to be taken lightly. The less gathered information you have gathered about dragons, the more... Uh, yeah, it's too dangerous. No point me doing it, especially considering we... You know, so many dragons already around. I have others with dragons to protect me, even if I myself do not have a dragon. Let's get Valyrian Mines in Molaris. I want to maybe save it to buy a second city, because I think that'd be really cool. Get Village Markets. Even get private farms in there. Spending anything we get on upgrading the area. We need to make it worthy of being the capital before we make it the capital. And whoops, I accidentally pressed to stop recording. That's fine. You didn't miss anything since literally a couple seconds before I noticed. More than commentars have started the delightful tradition where the small folk from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Orion believes that this area will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. Sure. This whole family's been such a weird one, the um, Einar family. I mean, Daeron had ruled for so long, despite only being 46. And then we had Lainor the Unready, who's ready to bloody rule how little he did in his time. Eventually he was murdered. And then Baylor the Bastard, he was also murdered because he was so unlike. But they still have some control, it's just that they don't actually control Geese itself. You know, the actual... I mean, it's New Geese, so New Geese is obviously the capital, but the... this is such a wealthy city. So to not be controlling. Lyrian mine has got finished. Interesting. I can pay one gold for volcanic activity. That sounds fun. Why not? Why do I have to pay gold for volcanic activity? We had disturbing news of Hesh from another atrocity visited by Lord Bathan Cinder. Apparently, he bore him. A, his wife bore him a stillborn child, which triggered terrible rage. He ordered all the midwives and witnesses, as well as their family, to put, be put in the dungeon and questioned. None survived the torture. This guy's insane. He is. He is truly insane. And he's a title claimant as well, so that's terrifying. I mean, every Cinder is, so... It's not like it's that surprising. Have your kid back, maybe that will make it less crazy. Or a kid back, I don't even know if it's your kid. Yes it is. And have your other kid too. Oh, and they keep attacking lands and capital as well, as if that's going to end well for them. May your humours rot in your body, I accept paying the ransom. What a nice guy, what a, what a really nice guy. The borders of the rock just changed. Oh, I assume it's probably because they won the Winterfell War. At least I hope that's why. Delirious Prospery. Fantastic. Let's keep getting the Cedar Realm Prosper going, and then maybe I'll consider making... I mean, it killed the grandfather to go for these, but... Maybe a future generation actually will go for these, because I don't know how much... Work, how worth it is it is to even try going for these. Let's get basic defenses going.
Nothing's doing interior. Probably doesn't have a slave camp, so he's not actually making use of his mines. This was even stupider. They raided right next to an already existing army. How do they think this was going to go? I do need to get training troops again. Refill rate on my armies is so slow. Who has the biggest army? So 14... Obviously, other than myself, because I'm the Empress. 14,000... 8,000... 14,000... Surely it's Valantis or Geese. 17,000 in Marine. 28,000. 56,000 in Valantis. Dear Lord, 56,000. Surely it's got to be the most. I mean, Bravos is also quite a large empire of the kingdom, though, isn't it? Wow, not even 20,000, actually. For owning both all of Bravos and all of Pentos. All of Andalos, basically. Interesting. As long as Volantis is, is on my side, you could basically beat every single person up here. Oh my god, they're getting sieged down again. Who is this? The North Fields. Why do the North Fields a hundred like ten thousand men? Malera Cinder has occupied the rightful seat, and I will stop at nothing to take it from her. Malera Cinder, who are you after? Obviously not me. Not Dow not Stuart. Oh, do you mean a Volantis? No, I'm not going to act against her. That's ridiculous. What well, foolish thing to ask. Even my, I'm not... I mean, I'm fine with him using 20 opinion on me because it's already, like, certainly a high opinion of me. Upgrade the estates again. Private farms in Mandios. Siege tunnels, interesting. That's the next level of, um... Oh, I had to upgrade village farms to get the town market, so... Okay, that's... I mean, we're, look how... This is how long we've been doing this for, that Illyria itself, the, the, the town, is basically max level and everything it can be. And these are so expensive that they're not really worth the upgrades. Although I never bother with the temple, because uh, temples sadly don't give as much of a, of a boon. Could upgrade the shipyard, or... He's got, okay, a war for Atlantis so is going to happen anyway. Well... Ugh. Let's see how this goes. So like I've read, the realm will surely lead about a hundred times now. Okay. I think my next expansion is going to be... Or is it going to be these two? Either these two or these four. Because these four I would not directly own. I would also grant these away to another Cinder family. Whereas these two I'd like to directly own, perhaps. Make this four be the new capital provinces. Because I do intend to want to make Illyria like a second seat, or make it possibly the prince's seat. Oh, Morris is finished! Illyria, Morris, Morris becomes Illyrian, Morris, Morris becomes Valyrian. That's a... was a lot of information all at once. But it is finished. 
So we're going to be starting to earn from here as well, which is pushing us up to 40 a turn. Excellent news. Oh my goodness, more rebels. And I've, I've learned that all of these are because of the religious conversions. I'm not telling anyone to do the religious conversions, they just do them themselves. Like, it's there's not a lot I can do. I can't even check religion or the game crashes. So, it's, it's not as if I want any of this to happen. I can assure you of that. Right, let's start reading here, because we can get Valyrian mines in the city here. Anywhere we can get the mines, we're going to get the mines, because they are so unbelievably valuable. Here already has them. As you can see, they're upgradable. Um, but it requires a large slave camp. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe it might be worth to go slave raiding then. What size is my camp? Marginal. That's size 2, I believe. Take a while to get up. Am I able to... No, I can't buy because you have to... Oh no, I can. I just need 400 gold. Okay. I'd rather buy those camps up than do too much conquests. If I did do one, I could do it against Howling Isles, maybe? Forces of Legion. I, okay, I don't know what that meant. Who is this leech? Interesting, I didn't even realize I was a king down here. Good to know. Unless I attack Kahor for it. He's also at war for some reason. A raid of Kahor. Let's also do a raid of Kahor. They will surely honour their obligations. And it's because I don't want to honour my obligations myself. Look at this, he's allowed geese to grow basically as strong as new geese. Like, this is a massive, massive kingdom to rule over. Where are these savages? Oh, they're in Volantis. What? Is Volantis at war? Is this civil war? Oh! I didn't even see Malaris has, had died. So yeah, obviously he's attacking the guy with the claim. Also, also Archon Vagio the Frog. Which is the war I started back <gasps> That has 19,000 men. That is the opposite of intimidating. 19,000 men against the 60 odd thousand of Illyria. Random a traitor. Let's get army moving. I do think my largest army, so 13,000, is my Illyrian army not bigger? No, but it's close. The Valyrian army is getting very big. Let me just see who's going to get there first. I think that's the army of the Protector getting wiped. Yep. I won't even pretend he had any chance there, because he didn't. Castle Town built? There we go, Castle Town built in Lawrence. The Valyrian Mines being built there. Yeah, I want to upgrade here. Or mustering grounds, yes, get the army up. If there's one thing my tiny kingdom needs, it's a larger army. They may do all the work for me here, actually. I'm still going to march them up, just to uh, be useful.
it's such an interesting kingdom of Bravos that he's also withholding them. He's had to destroy the Pentos title just so that nobody can claim to be a, a lord of or a king of Pentos. But they still call him Archon. It's, it's, it's interesting. I suppose if they are not um, kings, they don't have their king titles revoked because they never were a king. So they can remain an Archon or a Magister. Yeah, that war went so well for him, didn't it? Why even go for Volante? I mean, Yunkaya was actually a winnable battle with those sorts of men. It's more men than uh, Damien has. I've been for some time observing the poor performance of Archon Maester Tepper, whose failures have become a burden on the realm. My spawn is asking you to move him from office. And, uh, so you want to take over as Archon? Sure. You also suck, but he did suck. Get you in as a temporary lord. I can send down my fleet. Of course I get stress. That's such a helpful trait. Totally forgot that I was uh, trying to see the realm prosper there. I guarantee you I was only like a month off completing that, probably. Knowing me. This is the most important thing I've ever seen. Absolutely, we're going to have a pet cat. Or Juni. Best, best event in the game. So to upgrade the estates, I need stewards to level 3. And for that... It's just, it, it costs 300 gold, that's a problem. Um, let's upgrade the cheap stuff before we get to upgrading those again, then. That makes sense to me. Kagan. I actually just send my arms and then bring them back out, because I think my vassals have this covered. Okay, Tagan died. Mega. Let's see if Mega survives. Seems so. How many troops does the, the Lord of Geese have? Because he's also Valyrian. Of a new family called Fairworth. So he has 11,000 men. Whereas he has 25. So it's not huge. There's a chance if he keeps scaling and keeps growing that he could overthrow House A near. There's his army. Looks like it's going to be attacked. Angered that those in the court. I, oh my god, that's so. They need to fix those events because they they never. I'm gonna say they need to move those events as if this is ever getting an update. But those events always annoy me because I haven't removed him from my cancel. He's been removed because of the goddamn um, war. And oh my god, why did Yuvos fail? It's a Lord of Orm. I'm like, I gave this to you guys, to House Tarfion, because you guys claimed that you could build anything, and yet you've just let one of your provinces fall to ruin. Why do I trust anyone these days? And the game crashed, because we're at that point in the game now, where the game's crashing. And I accepted this piece of what I'm hoping. 
it is not going to crash this time. No? Okay, it doesn't seem as if it is crashing this time. Okay, we didn't crash, but about 90% of them didn't return, because I assume that we were at war. Marines at war for... War to overthrow the monarchy of Marine? What? Well, I'm evidently not going to let that happen. Uh, it's against you. Can I not force you to end your war? Only plot to kill him. Illusion. That's annoying. Oh my god, you're at war with Valantis. A claim for Norselite. Is that what, this one up here? Where's Norselite? Yeah, for this. I don't care. I don't even think it's a colonized province. It's a barely colonized province. But why is Bravos not standing there? But they also. Ravos Larafi trade war over Great Stone. Okay. A new dragon has entered the world. Balon Cinder has hatched one and named it Obraxes. Oh, that's a a fun name for a dragon. Is he the nephew? Of uh, the Kinslayer of Atlantis. What kin did he slay? Is this kin? I think that kin. According to my chief gem, the peasants of Tolos having frequent troubles with high main men and wild beasts. Um, I can. Yeah, we'll pay to try and alleviate that. God, this is so disgusting. This is. How, how was House to Haven this useless that they let this happen? I mean, this guy is a dep depressed, um, stressed, cruel, gregarious. He is. <laughs> He's pretty bad. But he is my Castilian. Fair so. not be completely useless. 2,000 limit there. Let's get a barracks, because this could be a really good one if we can get an army there. Only 300 in this one as well. Because obviously these ones, I believe, don't have any base. But they do get bonuses, whereas obviously this has a base and then has percentile bonuses on top, depending on the development. So we can get some barracks here as well. Might he's gonna lose this war, isn't he? I think he's outnumbered. He is, but I can't aid, aid him. Do they have a dragon? Nope. Okay, no, he definitely has a dragon. If he's dealing that much morale damage, he definitely has a dragon. Or at least uh, one of his generals must have a dragon. You're not having Mantaris. Your no, your wife won't have a dragon. Oh, your secondary wife will, because it's um yeah, it's uh, Sail. I don't know if she's gonna help in the army though. She's a queen of her own kingdom, and she's too young to have a dragon. Quest for the missing dragon. Oh, he actually bought him for that price. You're lost, buddy. Still limited slave labor. So I think I need to attack someone else again. Let's try the Howling Isles. Apparently they're still at war. This seems like an infinite war, so I might as well just attack them. Many cars of the Great Grass Sea have rallied under the same banner. This leader has managed to unite them all. Is Kofo the Red. People of Grasses, I can now see the leader as their great car. And have set their minds on not only really ruling the Darfax Sea, but to spread throughout the world under the leadership 
of the stallion who will mount the world. Is there anyone who can stop the thundering armies of thousands of hooves? An army of 48,000 in the Dothraki Sea under uh, Kal Kofo the Red, who I will warn him, he is uh, 68 and I am plotting to kill him. And now they're all going to be raiding us over and over again because I feel empowered by uh, the Dothraks. By the Kal. Who, let's see, who won the war? Norse Alice is now Valantian. Oh, and Pentos has risen up. Is this a Bravasi civil war? It's a war of tyranny. Of course it is. These guys could not last a day without some sort of civil war. Rugar Rhaegar. I don't know why I'm not asking me, like, completely random kinsman kids, and then sometimes you won't even get asked and be named your own kid. Like, it's very strange. Yeah, let's auto invite plotters. Surely people want to kill the Carl, right, guys? You guys want to kill the Carl, don't you, guys? Yeah, the majority of them seem to not want to kill the Carl unless they get paid, and I'm not paying them. Then for a faceless man, no. I'll, I'll, I'll stop the plot, it doesn't make sense to try and... I, I, somebody did help me right at the end there, but it doesn't make much sense for me to try it. He's, he might actually lose this this war, the overthrow, and then I'll have to go and war again and overthrow them. Because I'm not having republics in my kingdom, other than these ones over here, but we'll deal with them later. Don't you worry. They will be dealt. Eventually. I mean, the lads has already did a good job beating them up once. I'll just beat them up a couple more times. Where are these ragged bad? Ragged balls. Dothrak lords. Well, oh, Hesh. I don't care about Hesh. That guy's literally insane. As we, uh, we established. Up to 148,000. On a mighty army. Let's get a shipyard here. And upgrade the shipyard here. Get a shipyard in both. I can't upgrade this. Oh no, you just see 300 gold. But let's upgrade the catapults just so we can have this place be as fortified as possible. Because if, if this is our capital, we want it to be completely fortified. Don't, this isn't going well for Bravas. I think he might actually lose this. Ooh. What is this? Norvos. High Priest Balesso, the Learned of Norvos. Odds. Well, all of this is very odd. I don't even want to question how half of this stuff happens. It just ends up happening. Yeah, I think Marine's lost. Oh no, it says this war's in his favour? But they're sieging his capital. How odd. They say that Jaehaerys now rides Valeran into battle. Who? Oh, you would live off in Uralaha. Ur oh, good for you. Did the Dothrak seat immediately fall apart? Yep, it did. And what's the point? The guy was 62 years old, so I guess it was it was gonna. I guess he wasn't gonna last long, but like he could have lasted more than a year, you know. This. Oh, he rides on the dragon or whatever. Oh, 
the, uh, the rock's the only thing that even slightly concerns me. But even then, not much. Attack this guy, but I assume he probably has other lands elsewhere, right? No, but apparently this is actually it from him. Interesting. Yeah, but they're, they're awful. I don't think these promises are just all the worst. What's funny is though that half of them don't even have, um, capitals. They are just pure hordes. I have a new heir, Magor. Vera and Damien. So they finally had a kid. So, but it's interesting. So, Chihiram and Vera get immediately passed over for my nephew. That's really interesting. I didn't know that's how it worked. He's sickly though. We'll see. We'll see if he does survive because sickly is not a trait that suggests a long and healthy life in uh, <laughs> in this kingdom, with how many have had that trait. Okay, Marine won! He did actually successfully win his war. The monarchy's not been overturned, and... Kizyaki pass... Oh, he died, that's why. So he died of severe stress, unable to complete his war, and his son has been imprisoned. That's a bunch of books, though. They give it to the kid. He's a... Uh, he wants to be learned. Uh, I could build a war chest. I want to adopt a lifestyle. Am I able to be his guardian? I would like to be his guardian myself, but I don't see the option. Oh, no, no, there I am. Because I'm not great, but I would just feel like it makes sense for me to be his guardian, all things considered. You know, as his, uh... As he is the heir to the throne. And one day this sword will be his. The mighty blade of... Of Ash, which we had redesigned. This dragon bane bow, the egg. All my books and my scepters and my crown. Do I still have the boat? I do. It's called the Zuvda. I don't know what happened to the boat I named, what happened to the Majesty. I don't know if that sank or something. Honestly, probably. I think most things end up sinking. A slave revolt in, in Gis. Well, I think that'll be our last thing we will do today, but I assure you that's not going to be a problem to deal with. 750 gold, but we can get Valyrian architecture in Morris. I didn't even consider that. Might be worth getting a loan to get Valyrian architecture done, just because it's it's so good. Uh, for now, we'll get the barracks up, though. I'm going to wait a little bit to get the morale up a little bit more. should be enough. He's got all his armies raised. Oh, because he's also wanting to attack the Slave Revolt. Okay. I was going to say, I was worried he'd gone to war with Geese already. Although for his sake, it might be smart to do so. Hit him while they're still weak, see if you can win a battle over them. Because if he doesn't do that, I don't see how he's going to remain the dominant power in this region. But being frank, he already is uh, no longer the dominant power. Okay, and that is where we will... Oh, I'll quickly have this refused to sell. Yeah. Well, that is where we will leave it for this episode. Bravos um, is still at war with Lofry. So, that's not coming to an end. But, uh... They did overthrow their previous uh, Archon and now have a Sea Lord, Sea Lon Donicho of Bravos. However, 
Bravos I will keep intact, but I think it is time we deal with these false magisters and their useless titles and we take a proper halt over these lands. We've held them for a generation or two now, so we can we can begin to impart our ways here. And if they say no, I may not have a dragon, but I have plenty of people who do. So you can't treat us so foolishly yet. Trident is at war. With an invasion of the Night's Watch. Okay, it's someone beyond the wall. That's not relevant then. But that is where we shall leave it for now. We have invested a lot in Valyria, and next episode and beyond, I can assure you, we're going to be investing a lot more. And I think these two are what I'm going to go for next part of the High Lordship of North Valyria. We want to try and get all these. And so, next session, we are going to. Begin on these, and the whole episode really is going to be focused on Valyria and on dealing with this region. But that is going to come later. Uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, hopefully the week that this is releasing on Patreon um, will be the week that the CK3 series is releasing. Um, there may not even be an intro this episode just because of how much time I've been spending on the intro for that, because it is taking forever and ever. But it is going to be worth it, and I really cannot wait to share it. But that is all to come. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing where and what is next for the Empire of North Valyria. And we'll find out what it is in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>